Is that the game plan? High intensity, forced mistakes? Yeah, that's it. That's what we believe in. Uh, that's the way the manager's got us playing and we all want to play that way. So um, when it comes off like that, it's really, uh, really pleasing for sure. Uh, of course, and that led to the goal, of course. You did that. Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, like I said, we worked very hard in the week on our game against the ball and um, it's about our decision making when we win it. And, um, you know, it could have been a little bit better first half, but we got the all important goal. And what does the manager say at half time? Just continue in that vein? Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, we don't want to step off just because we're 1 0 up and we're against a very good team. We believe that we can do it against anyone. So, um, you know, they're going to have spells of possession, but I think we, uh, we got through that very well. Yeah, they didn't really come to life until the last 20 minutes or so. Yeah, we, we knew that they take a little bit more risk. It's the cup, you know, you've got to try and take those risks but um, again we defended well clean sheet and um, you know lots of positives to, to take from the game you can see the intent of Southampton is a very strong side you sent out today yeah that's it um, you know we want to win every game um, you know the lads that came in from the academy the other night did very well against Shrewsbury and um, you know we've, we've taken it another level now so um, uh, a good time the next round and uh, looking forward yeah, there's a lot of confidence in the camp you know despite your ups and downs recently what's it working What's it like working with Ralph? Because he seems to generate a lot of popularity amongst fans and, and the players as well. Yeah, he's very energetic. He's very um, you know, positive about the way he, he wants to play. He believes in it and everybody um, around the club can feel the way that he wants to be and um, everybody's look, uh, buying into that and, uh, and on the front foot. Um, you had a grip on this game for most of the match. I mean, do you feel he deserved the winter? Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, we had... In the first half, I think we had more, more, uh, yeah, punch, more power. Um, in the second half, sure, it's always normal that the opponent then gets a lift. Uh, uh, they make a few good subs with with quality, and then it's still hard to defend. Um, we must make a second goal. I think there was only one or two chances. I think the penalty for Longley was a clear penalty for me. In the end, then you can kill the game. But as long as it's one zero, yeah, you never know. But uh, the team was um, very disciplined today um, against such a strong side. It's always important that you are against the ball, very good uh, organised. And I think I've seen today 11 players on the pitch. They really worked hard for, for this cup win. Yeah, you came at them with real high intensity from the start. You were, you were forcing mistakes, putting them under pressure. They couldn't seem to get out. Yeah, it's our identity, our philosophy. Everybody knows us uh, so far, I think. Uh, but still, we had a lot of ball wins, very early ball wins also, and, and uh, the last uh, decision-maker then was not always the best, I think. We can we can uh, create better chances at, at that moment, I think, but um, in general, I think, especially our work against the ball today was very good, very committed, and uh, this is always the key of winning for us. Yeah, what's the word you use? You use the phrase, I think it was the nasty. It's nasty to play against when you have that, that high intensity and that pressing. Yeah, if you want to win against us, you must also invest a lot, I think, and, and today um, we showed that um, we can also cover the 90 minutes. Uh, the, the subs at two in front were good. They, they tried to give us the lift again to, to, to give more pressure on them when they build up. You don't... Uh, you cannot let them too close to your box because there they have so much quality and uh, one individual quality action is enough that, uh, that you uh, concede the equaliser. We had one good save from Freys. Again, a clean sheet for him is fantastic. No, uh, good team performance today. Does that give you confidence going into Tuesday night, Premier League game, round two? Uh, different game. Um, I think they have also options for a few changes. For us, we must have a look. Uh, it was an intense, intense game, but we have two days to recover and then we go again, yes. And you've got to do it. I've already had this conversation with James Ward-Prowse. You're going to have to do it the hard way. You've got Wolves, another Premier League side, <laughs> in the next round. Yes, yes, exactly. And this is the same uh, uh, fixture, I think. Uh, first the cup game, then the league game. So do it again. Yes, <laughs> it's good. All the best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mikel, before the match, we talked about Arsenal's proud history in the FA Cup. You must be bitterly disappointed to let it go. Yeah, I'm really sad um, to be out of the competition. Congratulations to Southampton, obviously, to get through into the next round. But um, disappointed to be out and disappointed uh, the way we lost the game. Um, considering a game in an area which we cannot give the ball away. Was it the fact that you just didn't really get going until midway through the second half? Well, we had some issues in the first half, controlling uh, certain aspects, uh, a lot of unforced errors as well that were leading, the, obviously, with the high press that uh, that they do. When we break that pressure, um, we had in the first half two or three really important moments, but we didn't uh, hit the targets. And in the second half, we produced, I think, another two or three big chances, but um, not enough to win the game. 
You've had a run of clean sheets at the Arsenal, but were you frustrated about the first goal, the fact that you yeah. couldn't actually get um, out? The, the way we conceded the first goal is completely our own fault and, and we cannot do that. We have to compete in this game. You know you are out and uh, we have to do that better, but it's uh, a lesson. Was it because the, you changed the side? You made it, Was it just a lack of rhythm in that first half? No, I think it was a very even uh, game. The first half, there were moments where um, they won a lot of second balls and um, and they are good when, when they have transition moments. They are dangerous. They hold the ball up really, really well. In the second half, obviously, we, we had some more quality and uh, and you could see that we became much more dominant. We played much more in the in the opponent's half and, and we created some chances, but uh, it wasn't enough. You, you gave some players a, a chance today. Did, did you feel some of those individuals took the opportunity? Or they all tried you? so hard. Uh, you see, it was a really intense game again. Southampton really demands you the best out of you because they are really aggressive the way they play and, uh, and they've always tried their best. And does that have any impact on Tuesday night in your preparation Premier League game? Well, I hope we can use that uh, to be even more prepared and, and come here and, and win the game, which is what we have to. And you've freed up some space in your squad. You've cleared some people out. Did, Watching today, do you feel there are positions that you still need to strengthen? Well, we are looking in the markets and uh, see what else we can do. Obviously, we moved uh, some players. We are a little bit short in one or two positions. Let's see what we can do. Thank you, Mikael. Thank you.